This is my new solar powered motion light. And this thing is amazing, it's super lightweight. It's gonna be really easy to install from the look of it and everything that comes with it. Now this product was a gift that was sent to me by the company, but I chose this because I wanna be able to have a light in an area that I just don't wanna run the switches and wiring and hire an electrician. So this I can just plug and play and it's good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and install it and show you uh, the light and how bright it is outside. I want to show a close-up view real quick so you can see all the little pieces and stuff before I actually install it. Uh, I did test it out. It's a great light. It puts out a lot of light. Um, I'm not going to do that right now on camera because it'll be too, too bright. Uh, but I'll show all the buttons and stuff in a second. You get the solar panel. You get the actual light. You get the hardware, the mounting screws and stuff to mount it wherever you're, you'd like to put it. The remote which is a real nice thing. That way I can change it from inside my house or you know, be outside and actually push the button and turn it on. You got some tie wraps to um, you know, put your cord away and, and, and tidy everything up. And you also have a uh, user manual that kind of has everything broken down. Not only does it have the modes broken down, but it also has the functions of the remote and the actual power switch. So I want to show a close up of how to turn it on. Uh, the, the initial turn on and some of the things like the fact that it turns purple when you know it's charging so that you'll see a purple light and then green is actually your battery level. And so if I show it close up, you'll see right here, here, oh, sorry, here is the battery level. And so these will turn green and I will actually turn purple whenever it turns on, but the initial turn on. So if you press on on the remote, it's not going to turn on. You have to press this button first to do the initial. And uh, I figured that out. I was like, man, it's not turning on. Don't worry, it's not broken. You just push this button, it'll turn on. Now I'll show it for a second, but then I'll have to turn it because it gets real bright. Uh, but you press it, that's your battery. It shows that it's turning on, and then it'll actually power up. And so when you press that, it'll switch between modes. It'll blink to show you which mode it's going into. There we go, and that's off. Uh, but really nice light here. Here's the actual mounting bracket, which has screws, so you can unscrew it to mount it, and then screw it back on. The lights actually go straight up. And so you can bring them up once it's mounted. Well, you can see it won't go all the way up depending on what you have it mounted on. It'll probably go to right here. Uh, but you can do all kinds of angles with this light. So you can catch, you know, even if you have maybe um, there's a wall right here. And so you can point these down and these up so you can get that light wherever you need it. Really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and mount it up and uh, then, you know, show it in place at night. panel I ran up and actually mounted it to the roof. I used some roofing caulk to keep it in place and I think that's going to be a great location. I just need to move the panels a little bit on the light and test it out at night. Okay here we are at night. Uh, my phone is showing it a little brighter than it actually is. It's, it's really dark out here uh, but this light has just a small light on because it's in mode 2 and as I get closer it's going to detect my motion and it'll put it brighter. Now, that's going to be real bright. It's reflecting off my, my camera here and making a little, this little ghost thing right here. But uh, you can see it's pretty bright. It lights up all right here outside of my shop. And so that's going to make it to where whenever I'm walking right here at night, I'm going to have some light and it's going to light up so I can see what I'm doing. And I won't have to rely on uh, my power. Now it has a 20 second timer. So if you notice it turn off for 20 seconds, then when it senses motion, it'll come on again. But I think this is a great light. It was super simple to set up. And it's something that I know I'm going to love having, um, when there's no power or even just, you know, sensing that motion so that I can get some power whenever, I'm uh, walking up to my shop.